Hey, what's up, y'all? Brainy Nerd Tutor here, Terry, and I'm going to show you how to do this problem. I figured it out. This is a super common one in physical chemistry, so I'm going to teach you how to do it, and, and hopefully uh, you can do it too. You can learn from it, uh, and it's, it's super common. So we have a mole of ideal gas undergoing an expansion from V1 to V2, and we want to calculate all the change in entropies, system surroundings, and the total. Uh, if the process occurred three different ways, an isothermal reversible expansion, an isothermal irreversible expansion against zero external pressure and then an adiabatic reversible expansion. So let's start off with the first one here. And there might be a few buzzwords here that uh, you might have heard, but maybe you're confused. I don't know, but let's let's go through it step by step so that after this, you're going to be you're going to be a champ. Uh, let's see. So T is constant because it's isothermal. And a reversible expansion means that work equals negative PDV. And this is pressure of the system if it's reversible. If it's irreversible, it's pressure of the surroundings, the external pressure here. And uh, we can calculate uh, really the surroundings or, this, or the uh, system first. Let's do this change in entropy of the system. If there's no subscript, it means it's for the system. Now to calculate this, uh, you know what, I'm going to derive the equation for you so you see where it comes from. Uh, the, we have the thermodynamic definition of entropy, which you've, I'm sure you've seen in your, your course before. And this is it here. So ds equals dq over t. And for an isothermal reversible expansion, we can write another word of this q. The, the heat transfer is just the work, really. Here's the first law. du equals dq plus dw. This is the first law. And if it's an isothermal expansion of an ideal gas, the change in internal is energy in energy is zero because the average kinetic energy is the same uh, for an ideal gas. Temperature is constant, du is zero. So really our dq, our energy transferred as heat, infinitesimal amount equals the negative of the dw. And here's our work. This is w. We could make this dw. Uh, then this wouldn't be an, an integral, would it? So dw equals negative pdv. Well, here's dq. dq equals negative dw. dw is negative this. So the ds, infinitesimal change in entropy, is just positive PdV over T. And then if we integrate this from our initial to final state, we get, uh, let's put this up over here. Uh, integral of ds is just our delta S for the system. And T is constant, right? So that can be yanked out of the integral. So we need to plug in what the pressure is. I'll, I'll put the temperature here. Uh, put the integral in, uh, but we know what pressure is in terms of volume. PV equals nRT, and for a molar quantity, we can just say this is the molar volume equals RT, because molar is V divided by N is our molar volume. So our, our P equals RT over VM, uh, integral of dV, it could be dVm. Uh, we don't have to. We can leave the N in. Actually, let's leave the N in. You know what? Let's leave the N in. That's doesn't matter. It comes out of the integral. And now this, these are all, all our constants. So these are NRT over, whoops. Oh yeah, NRT over T. That's good. T cancels out. Uh, and then our integral of one over V is ln. That's our friend, ln. And we're going from V initial to V final. It's ln V final divided by V initial because norm like this is the this is a definite integral so this would be ln final minus initial v final minus ln v initial ln v final minus ln v initial when if we take the ln of this from the initial to final state but then we just invoke a log law so we uh, when we subtract lines it's like dividing the arguments here okay so the change in entropy of the system equals n r ln v whoops v final over v initial for the surroundings it's very similar we have the change in entropy of the surroundings equals q of the surroundings over the temperature now the energy transferred as heat is going to be equal to the negative of the energy transferred as heat from the system it's going from the system to the surroundings so this is like negative Q over T, where Q is just the heat transfer uh, to and from the system. This is the heat transfer to the, the surroundings here. And this negative Q, it's the same thing here, which is the integral. All of this works out. It's the exact same math, just, just the opposite. 
uh, a sign. So it ends up being negative nr ln of v final over v initial. Um, it's funny, we only got, we have one mole of gas, so I guess we'd just plug in one for the for n, so it'd be uh, r ln uh, f over vi. So that's it. And since this is for the system, this one here, this is for the surroundings, they're equal and opposite, equal and opposite. So the change in entropy total, of course, equals the change in entropy of the surroundings, SUR, SUR, plus the change in entropy of the system. Those are equal and opposite. So for this reversible process, it's, it's zero, zero joules per Kelvin. All right, sweet. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's see the next process up now. Cheers.